High schooler is in critical condition at UAB after police say he was assaulted by a large group of students after the homecoming game. CBS 42 News reporter Brittany Bivens is joining us live now in the studio with the latest on this investigation. Brittany? Well, Lee, I spoke to the mother of the 17 year old and she tells me he has skull fractures and internal bleeding and remains critical tonight. Meanwhile, police are investigating what led up to that assault. This parking lot in downtown Sylacauga is quiet now, but around 10 Friday night, police say it was a different story. Keon King came to see the place. Police say a group of students attacked his former classmate. I hope the best for him. You know, even if he does wake up, I hope he does. God, I pray he does. Social media posts say the assault may have been racially motivated, a fight over the victim's posts criticizing Black Lives Matter. But police are asking the public to let them do their jobs and complete the investigation before making conclusions. This all comes after threats of violence and riots put the school on lockdown Wednesday. Now parents say they're scared to send their kids back. I mean, right now, I won't even let my children go outside alone. I mean, it's that bad. While some try to make sense of the violence. Never know what you're going to do until it happens. That's when you start feeling sorry. I'm sure all those kids are heartbroken right now. If he were to pass away, he'd be, they'd all be pretty hurt. Others pray for peace. There's just so much that goes on around our community. It's really just uncalled for. Everyone needs to just come together and be done. Right now, police say they're reviewing surveillance video and talking to witnesses. The police chief said in a statement, I believe I speak for everybody when I say the violence needs to stop, whether this is from an incident at the high school or any other reason. End quote. Live in the studio, Brittany Bevan, CBS 42 News.